Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I have here another example of how uh, the West is picking the uh, issue from uh, the point they like, and they ignore the points where they don't like, and then they bring us the news made like that, which is, <clears throat> let's say you just uh, enter a room and over there a woman slaps a man over his face. And you say, ah, mm, there it is. The woman slapped uh, the man over her, uh, his face. He, uh, she is, you know, committing assault and all that. You don't know that the guy, actually, the man, grabbed her against her will, took her in the room and tried to rape her. And that's what you saw when she was defending herself. And you just are going to report to your friends, hey, she slapped him over his face. Basically, this, this is what happened. Between China and the United States of America in uh, the Straits of Taiwan. Uh, let me um, tell you this again. Things are picked and chosen just to show that China is actually uh, elevating the risks of a conflict by um, challenging and uh, buzzing American warships, uh, just fishing around. So let's go with this article. And I have a video, obviously, of the encounter. Associated Press. China defends buzzing American warship in Taiwan Strait, accuses U.S. of provoking Beijing. Okay, so let's see. Chinese Defense Minister defended sailing a warship across the path of an American destroyer and Canadian frigate. What were they doing there again? Transiting the Taiwan Strait telling a gathering of some of the world's top defense officials in Singapore on Sunday that such so-called freedom of navigation patrols are a provocation to China. Uh, U.S. Defense Secretary Lord Austin told the same forum Saturday that Washington will not flinch in the face of bullying or coercion from China and would continue regularly sailing through and flying over the Taiwan Strait and the South China Sea <laughs> to emphasize they are international waters countering Beijing's sweeping territorial claims. Now you see how this is made? Well, we're doing this only because we want to emphasize their international waters. That, that's the only reason. You know, and we are right, but this is picking and choosing. You know that's not why they do that. But they give you only this interpretation. But hey, it says here, the same day, a U.S. guided missile destroyer and a Canadian frigate were intercepted by a Chinese warship as they transited the strait between the self-governed island of Taiwan, which China claims as its own territory, and mainline, main, mainland China. The Chinese vessel overtook the American ship. How is it possible? I thought we are the best and the fastest. And then veered across its bow at a distance of 150 yards, about 140 meters, in an unsafe manner, according to the US in the Pacific comment. And we have some videos here. So let's see what these guys are providing uh, us with. Uh, this, is com this comes from, uh, uh, where is this? Um, ABC News, Chinese warship cuts off U.S. Navy ship making second military provocation in the week. Okay, uh, I'm not certain if this guy provides us uh, with... Uh, uh, here it is. Uh, let me make it bigger because it's better, right? Let's listen to him. That terrifying near miss captured on video obtained by Global News. The Chinese warship reportedly coming within 150 yards of hitting the American destroyer the USS Chung Hoon. It happened during a rare joint mission between Canada and the US. It's just the latest in a series of provocative, <laughs> provocative. <laughs> okay. news. The Chinese walked to a Canadian report. That terrifying near miss captured on video obtained by Global News. The Chinese warship reportedly coming within 150 yards of hitting the American destroyer, the USS Chung Hoon. It happened during a rare joint mission between Canada and the US. It's just the latest in a... Okay, so uh, we know who's provoking whom, right? Yes. But hey, let's look on over the map and see actually what's going on, right? First, we go with this one. China. This is China. The map of China. All this, you know, bam, bam, bam. Where's Taiwan? Uh, is right here. You see here? Taipei, Taiwan. So Taiwan is very close 
close to China, right here, Taiwan Strait. So these guys, these two little uh, destroyer and frigate, were just transit here, transiting here, you know. And here is East China Sea. Is it East China Sea? Because it's in east of China. This is China. Okay, it's not East uh, West US Sea, which West is on the other side. But hey, let's find out where the United States is and Canada, right? Because you might think they're right here. And they are just in the area. Uh, oh no. Here you have it. This is the Pacific Ocean. Now Canada is this piece right here in whatever the color is. And this is the United States of America plus here the Hawaii Islands and here the Alaska. And where's China? Right here. Here is where it, everything occurred in this area. East China Sea. Taipei with its Taiwan and here is China. So these guys right here were just transiting that little thing over there and China provoked them over there because China was actually going here in Baya California area right here and going like here or just going around and around the Gulf of Mexico because that's what they do. Imagine the um, Chinese would do such a thing. Oh my God, you were not here. Same way, it's international waters. We just want to make sure that you guys respect it. Oh, you got that point? How far are these guys here? That's half of the world away, my friends. Half. And hey, who provoked whom? Obviously, the Chinese provoked the Americans who are just, you know, shipping and fishing here in the international waters. Now, we know and we agree, as I said at the beginning, there's the whole story. We agree if we pick, yes, those are international waters, correct? And they are entitled to do that. No problem with that one. Even though they are far away and so on. But this is this out of all this. Okay, this. Question is, what are they doing over there? And this is the, this guy's justification. We are over there to defend Taiwan. But we stand by uh, one China policy. What do you mean? <laughs> Uh, we defend Taiwan, but we uh, we agree with uh, one China policy. Actually, you don't agree with the one China policy, and you're ready to uh, uh, you know create problems over there. Now you over there, obviously you have uh, South Korea, which is another country that uh, creates problem for many. Not because it's South Korea, but because I think it's more or less under the U.S. occupation as well. And then you have Japan, which is under total occupation with troops and everything over there. So all these guys need help, need the United States to come and help them. Now, what do you think will happen? You see, I, I covered the video with that Chinese J-16 flying in front of the uh, our reconnaissance plane, just, you know, looking at the uh, waters outside. And again, in international airspace, no problem. Uh, it's not a US spy plane, it's a reconnaissance. Okay, and we, again, just flying over there by the Chinese territory, just it happened to go around. Just want to test to see if these guys are okay with the international airspace. And the Chinese provoked them again with their aggressive action over F, F J16. Oh my God! Again with the, with the don't you get the hints? And then yesterday, Lloyd Austin was upset and crying. <laughs> because the Chinese de uh, defense minister would not meet him in Singapore, would not open contact with us. Really? With that kind of uh, just testing the international waters? Uh, who's provoking whom? I think, uh, uh, you know, things, not that Chinese are all clean. I don't want to say that. But in this one, I mean, you're in my neighborhood around with my neighbors coming around and doing maneuvers with weapons, airplanes and other uh, you know, ships. And I'm supposed to say, hey, uh, don't do this. Mind your own business. OK, mind your own business. And I'm supposed, OK, all right. But you're in, in my area here. I feel a little bit threatened. Mind your own business. OK, international waters. The same they did with the Russians in Ukraine. Hey, guys, you bring weapons in Ukraine. You want to expand NATO in Ukraine. That's kind of threatening to us. Let's discuss. Mind your own business. You have nothing to say in NATO expansion. Off. And then they say, well, Russian imperialism. Well, you, uh, how should, how, you believe it uh, at your own risk. And uh, but the things are not that hard to figure out. 
And uh, as I said, I'm not uh, here to defend anyone, but uh, what I think is uh, the reality. And the reality is look over the map. I mean, however, again, I explained this in another video. This is the way they already got us ready. They groomed her or groomed us, not her. <laughs> groomed us, like I gave the example of a, a child abuse, how the criminal grooms a, of a victim. Grooms and then once it goes over a level, goes to the next level, goes to the next level. We have been groom, uh, groomed by these guys to just accept that it's normal for the U.S. military to be right over there, go around that area, that, like it's a normality. But if that would be normal, then it would be normal for the Chinese to the same, do the same thing to us. But obviously that's not normal because, you know, uh, and who's provoking whom? If you change the table, turn the tables, you're going to find out that we would not like it a bit. That tells you that uh, we know that's not right what we're doing. Well, because why? I mean, not right. I don't say why. That not right. It's a provocation. I mean, you can have interest because in the world affairs, you have interest. We have our interests over there and you. But, uh, you know, to portray it to us, with the weasels, you know, uh, it's just, they provoked us. I mean, please, they provoked us and we are next to their... Uh, house in their neighborhood we are far far away i mean however you want to take it take it like this we have our own interest we're going to defeat you and we want to win and that's it we're going to use whatever necessary to win okay if you put it that way how it, for me it would be more acceptable than saying no 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 they threaten us no no they are aggressive well and we are the poor victims right right that's what that's how we're supposed to be and then we go and vote for a guy who just dives every uh, other day pong 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 and he's okay he's just okay he still is fit for the office mental and physically if this would have been trump falling or half fall he would have been calls for uh, what article 24 of the constitution or something being uh, kicked out or uh, whatever it was 14 15 or 14 uh, i think it's 24 when uh, the Senate and all these guys have to say, he's not fit uh, to hold office and it has to be triggered by the vice president or something or whomever thinks that he's not, he's incapacitated. Again, we're supposed to see nothing. Did you hear the mass media saying, me, me, mainstream mass media saying Biden must go because he can't? No one is like, nothing to see here. Now that's the free mass media. Man, that's an achievement. Not even the communists uh, walked uh, in uh, such a lockstep. These guys are great. Uh, thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.